Good afternoon. <clears throat> I made this set this morning. Um, it must have been about 9.30 and it is now almost five minutes to two. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, four and a half hours. And what I do is I come regularly from about three hours on to check whether this can be shaped. And all I do, I don't know if you can see it enough. Let me bring this down for you. I hope you'll be able to see this. So I lift them all carefully, wear gloves, and I pull on the edge. And as you can see, it is coming off quite cleanly, apart from these bits, of course, because I went over the edges. And these I can just um, sand afterwards. So go around gently. So this gives you an idea of how soft but hard. I don't know if that makes any sense. And you just lift it. Actually, I won't bother pulling these bits off. So I remove my mold. So as you can see, it's flopping. See, it's soft, but it has already started to cure. So obviously using a really beautiful dish is a very bad idea because as you can see, I have ruined it. <laughs> I know <laughs> that's really bad um I wish I could move this out of the way but this hasn't cured fully because it's the same as the other one and obviously I don't want to get things in so you position it over the dish that you want to shape it in and as best as you can, you center it with your edges. Because, yeah, we could have uneven sides and it doesn't, it wouldn't matter. I'd rather get rid of these bits now, actually. The really offensive ones. The rest I can sand. afterwards sorry i'm trying to concentrate and speak at the same time and normally i'm really good at that but i am really tired you'd never think i've been away on a month's holiday in september this renovation plus my full-time work here is just anyway enough complaining so i'm happy ish Okay, this little one's bugging me, actually. So, I've moved it again. This is going to end up being a much longer video than I was planning. Uh, 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 uh. So, I'm happy now. Very gently, start pressing. Check that your edges are more or less the same everywhere and you want to achieve a flat bottom. Now I could leave it like that, simply, but I want to shape it. <laughs> Sorry Nicola, these aren't just good for this, obviously, but they are perfect for that. So I very gently pull on one 
and I insert a bottle and then I push down again. Don't worry too much about this bit of the moment. Just position your bottles where you want them to be and then we will shape the, I don't know what you call this, I've had so many questions about how to to shape these bowls lately. I've become totally addicted to them. It's very sad. I think we all go through periods as artists where we discover something and all of a sudden that's all we want to do. Well, I'm at that <laughs> I'm at that stage at the moment. And Actually, that's a little bit far out. I mean, it's not done in five minutes. There is a bit of playing around. And I need one more. Try to make sure that everything that you use as props, as your props, is clean. And not sticky from resin or marks with resin or anything, because that will leave marks on your work. So, I'm happy. Obviously, it's not going to be exact. You're making this. It doesn't need to be exact. It can be as fun as, as shaped or unshaped. Why am I speaking so loudly? I don't know. As shaped or unshaped as you would like it to be. So, that still bugs me. So, I am happy. I hope you can see this properly. Now, you have a choice. You can either leave it like that and hope and hope that it will stay pressed down or you can start loading it with weights. Now, the only issue with loading it is that often it leaves a round center mark and it's not always the prettiest. So this time I am going to leave it alone. I'm not gonna do any more to it now, if I wanted these to be really defined, see here, they're quite large, they're quite soft. If I wanted them to be really defined, then I would put weights like this, um, for example. I'm not going to put them in, but I just want to show it to you. I want mine this time to stay nice and, and soft. But I would put these, and I can't use these because they've been marked by resin so many times, they will leave marks. But I would put these like that against each side all the way around so that these become quite sharp in their definition, not so soft. At the moment, they're really nice and soft. And... I kind of want that today. But like I say, there's no right or wrong. I more importantly wanted to show you at what stage of the mold, of the curing, you can start molding these, shaping these. Sorry, I'm using all the wrong words and you're gonna get very confused. Anyway, I hope that's made sense. Um, I can't show you another because at the moment that's the only one I was gonna shape. I hope it helped. I'll make, the next time I make one, I'll redo a video for it. So that's it from me, guys. I will speak to you soon. Bye.